Are you tired of static, boring videos? Well, look no further than Kapwing's newest feature, keyframing. With keyframing, you can add dynamic movement to your videos to make them more engaging and visually appealing. So what is keyframing exactly? Put simply, keyframing allows you to set specific points in your video where you want changes or movement to occur. You can adjust position, size, and opacity of elements in your video, or even add in text or images and apply keyframes to them. The result is a video that moves and flows with more control by the creator and captures the audience's attention. So how could you use keyframing to level up your videos? Well, here are a few different examples. You can use keyframing to highlight important information by zooming in on a specific part of your video, drawing in your viewer's attention to the most important information. You can create seamless transitions by seamlessly transitioning between different elements in your video. You can add movement and energy with keyframing. Whether it's a subtle shake or a fast zoom in, keyframing can add energy and movement to your video, making the viewer more interested in staying and watching for longer. We all know that watch time is everything these days. With Kapwing's keyframing features, the possibilities are endless and you are truly able to level up your videos with more customization than ever before. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use keyframing to level up your videos. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to kapwing.com. You can click the first link in the description. It'll take you here and go ahead and click get started. And I'm just going to use some of our stock video on the left just as an example here. So I will make a little a business video, let's say. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is add some text onto here that has some movement and animation across the screen. So I'm gonna go to the text tab and add some text as well. And I'll just add this sample text. Okay, so I have it all ready, but now I actually want to add the animation. I want it to slide in from the left to the right, stay here, and then I want it to go completely transparent and exit the screen. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go to the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna move this text text over to off the side of the screen where it's going to begin. Then I'm going to scroll down here in the edit tab and scroll down to where it says position. Then I'm going to click this little diamond icon and when you hover over it you can see it says add keyframe and it'll pull up this menu that tells you more about keyframes. Number one, select the layer and click on the diamond button which you've already done which is on the properties in the right side sidebar. Then move the seeker along the timeline to a different point and then make an adjustment. This will create an animation. And you can add as many keyframes as you want within a single clip so you can get multiple animations with one layer. So now I'm gonna just move my cursor down to where I want it to stop. I'm gonna click add keyframe again. But now I'm gonna move this text in the middle of the screen. And now when I click play, it should move right to the center and stop, which it does. And now I wanna change the opacity. So I'm just going to click the add keyframe button again in a different position later in the clip. Move down the seeker to where I want the animation to stop. So in this case where I want it to be transparent. And then I'm just going to move the opacity down to zero. And now when I press play, it should fade out to transparency, which it does. So now from start to finish, you can see the position movement. Then it's gonna stay for a moment and then it's going to slowly fade out Okay, cool. Now I'm going to show you a different type of keyframing. So I'll show you the zoom keyframe and I will also show you how you can adjust the image or the picture of a video or an image using these keyframes. So I'm just going to add a keyframe here for zoom, which means that prior to this moment, it's going to be at 100% zoom. And then I'm going to move my seeker down to where I want it to stop zooming and I'm going to increase it to 127. So now it should remain at 100% zoom until we get to this point, and now it's gonna start zooming. And it should stop right there once we reach our desired zoom. So that's easy enough. Now I'm gonna show you how to adjust the image or video using these adjust keyframes. So let's say it's the end of the clip and now it's time to sort of fade the video. What I'm gonna wanna do is add a keyframe here. So I'm just gonna click the ones I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use the opacity one. I'm gonna use blur. So right now these are all at zero. Now I'm gonna move to the end of the clip and I'm gonna set opacity to zero. I'm gonna set blur to 100. And so now when I click play, it's going to sort of fade out with blur and opacity as you can see here, which I think looks really nice. So those are all the keyframe options for video right now. But you can also do the same thing to images. So if you come to the image tab on the left here, so let's say I want the Kapwing logo. I'm just gonna search for this image on Google. I'll bring it in here. So I can do all the same things here. So I'm just going to add a keyframe here under the opacity button and have it be 100%. And then I'll move to the beginning of the video and I will change that to 0%. And now it should fade in. And I'll do the same thing at the end of the video where everything else starts to fade out. I will add a keyframe here 
I will add a blur keyframe and then move to the end of the video, bring the opacity to zero and the blur to 100. And so now it should fade out the rest of the video. So there we go. Now I have showed you how to successfully use keyframes on videos, images, and text. And when you're done, you can just go ahead and click the export button up top and you're all done. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope you can now take your videos to the next level with keyframing. Let us know what you think about this feature in the comments below and what other features that you want in the next Kapwing release. And we'll see you guys in the next one.